To explain this point further, it is necessary to define the location that is innermost, the source for native ways of knowing that shape, Ano Oiwi Maole. Beyond beach and far from the island's entire coast is Hawawa Valley. Hawawa is that most inaccessible realm. Its remoteness makes it a preserve for the knowledge that possesses the most spiritual significance. Hawawa holds Kahona, the meaning of ritual and the most definitive symbols of native Hawaiian tradition. To understand what is there and to convey it as Ike Kupuna requires in-depth knowledge of the Hawaiian language and the ability to apply such knowledge to one's particular Oihana. A Kumuhula who has a lifelong dedication to the native dance is an example of a person who dwells in the recesses of Hawawawa. For such a person, Hawawawa is a destination, a site for learning that is deeply significant for its ties to the ancestors. In the course of exposure to Ike Kupuna, from this destination, students realize that learning from a Kumu who knows how Hawawawa is a priceless gift. This is where someone who is native Hawaiian can enter the Hawawa and take in all that a non-Hawaiian does, but also feel something more. That something more is the heritage connection to Ike Kupuna as contents within Puholo. This is what Ano Oiwi Maoli can predispose a native Hawaiian to experience. The Hawawawa's gifts are bestowed as a result of a studied practice. It is a realm where few dwell. Those who do become a Kumu, teachers who are masters of their specialty. They assume the spiritual aspect of Ike in the realm of Hawawawawawa. They access selected material found in the Hawawa and make it learnable. Again, Pukui embodied this and Albert did not. The respective reference points to the Hawawawawawa and abilities in accessing Ike from there were decisively different. Ah, wow, 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 w